Hello everybody. How you like my new haircut? So um this is what's going down. Now I've watched this video and this woman right here, you can look at her, she's a beautiful woman. You can easily fall in love with this woman. This woman you can see hurt, shock, and you know, pretty much surprise. She's not stupid. These things she speaks about have been going on throughout time. And I like how she mentions these Africans don't like these blacks, these blacks don't like these people, these people don't like these people, because it's like that. That is true. Um, light skin versus dark skin. House niggas, field niggas. The mentality has been destroyed between the communities and, and, and the ethnic groups. The ethnic groups that she speaks of are always warring and fighting each other. If you dig deep down inside, deep down inside to fight for some nonsensical shit that they probably don't even trip on no more. But when it comes to us here in America, this is why I don't call myself African. Because I don't believe I deserve the right to call myself African because I have never been to Africa. Um, I have never met not one of my so-called African family members. I have not met anybody from Africa that can link me and tell me who my people were. And nobody say, you know what, man? I come all the way from Kenya. I come from Tanzania. I come from blah, blah, blah. You are my cousin. You are my family. Nobody has ever said that to me. Nobody has ever put forth any effort to do any of that. But isn't that my my that's what, that's what, isn't that what I'm supposed to do? Aren't you supposed to find out who you are to become what you can be? We can never find out who we are because all those records, all those thousands of years worth of records. Hundreds and hundreds of blah, 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 blah have been destroyed. They don't want us to know who we are. And if you watch any of my videos, I truly believe in, in a one people. We're going to be one people one day. All us people going to get together and join hands, march through the streets of the cities as a one free people. Every color, every people. But we as a race, as a species of human being, if we can't find the truth in our past, we must create a reality within our future. That's easier said than done. It's easier to say we should all get together and do for each other than for it to be done. And that has nothing to do with the black woman, the black man, the Africans, the African Americans, the Canadians of African descent, the Australian Africans, the Mexican Africans, any other African or African person of descent. That has nothing to do with that. In order to be a, a, a group of people, you have to have unite, a unity. None of these groups of people that she spoke about in her video have any sense of unity. And when they do, or when we do, there's always somebody who wants to lead us. You know, I got a couple hundred thousand people tonight and we're all unified for one cause, and I want to lead them. See, I don't even know if I'm even making any sense for you, but I want to say this. The black man in America hates on the black woman because the black woman had to make sure the black man lived. The black woman was there when the master was going off on the wood people. She broke him off a piece. Keep his mind straight. Throughout the course of history, our women have been hoes, 
tramps, sluts, prostitutes. They have completely been demoralized from the inside out. And the handful of women strong enough to keep their head up and do the right thing and don't fall subject to the asses hanging out, those women are the ones that that people think are being disrespected. That's not true. The strong black woman go to church every every day, every Sunday, takes care of her family. She ain't getting disrespected. I'm going to tell you right now where to go and you can see the black women being disrespected. Type in booty meat. Type in anything that got to do with any song with ass shaking. Back that thing up. Just put, type in ass shaking. See, I tell people, everything is is being, uh, what's the word, uh, projected into us. There's somebody standing over there with a big-ass fucking movie projector projecting images into us. And these images, people are beginning to believe them. You, you can't believe everything you hear, but it's a hell of a lot easier to believe anything you see because you can see it. As the progression of this video goes, so is my voice, so is my thoughts, so is what's making me even want to uh, reply to this video. It's that these black women who are to believe to be disrespected are probably speaking up for the ones that are being disrespected. These black women who have fought, worked, lived and died for this country and countries around the world, these black women are not being disrespected. These women who who are the patriarchs of families, grandmama raising kids, uh, daddy in jail, the girlfriend's got a new boyfriend, don't want the kids, Grandmama got the kids. Some of these women are not women. They're children. And as a child, they have small child's minds. A small child. A small child's mind. You give them a piece of candy and they'll give you some ass. Those aren't women. They're children. They need to be treated like children. A real woman is the woman that did this video. She come all the way across the world to come here. Now these ones that you're talking about being a disrespected, they don't go nowhere. They stay where they were. They are who they are because they are where they are. Uncultured. Untaught unloved disrespected type in booty meat type in ass shorts type in ass you see some white ones but you see a whole hell of a lot of black ones young black ones underage black ones learning to be nothing so when it's time for them to be 27 28 years old life has been run through the ringer then she can say she's been disrespected. She gets her ass up, works, raises her family, and have nothing, then she's disrespected. But those who have a little something, who try to maintain what they got, they're not being disrespected. They're not being heard. You can't see the one that's doing the right thing. But you know, the one that's not. And baby girl, your pretty little face on you. Look at that. You've been tubed.